Since I've made a few Billie Eilish videos, I've had a lot of people recommending that I check out interviews with her because she's really fascinating and interesting. Seems like she has a good head on her shoulders. And most recently she was on Ellen and she talked about opening up about her Tourette's. And since then, I've noticed that there's a bunch of Tourette's slash Tix compilation videos and it's absolutely brutal. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is for anybody who wants to improve their mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Now, for all of my loyal subscribers, I've got comments saying like, you've talked a lot about Billie Eilish lately. Yes, yes I have. Part of the way that I operate is when I find a new subject, a new topic, whatever it is, I get really interested in it and I want to learn everything about it. That's just how I roll. Like if I'm interested in something, like I find a bunch of books on it and things like that, or I'll watch interviews about a person. And especially when it comes to Billie Eilish, I've seen her, her quick growth and I don't know anything about her. I've just heard things. So anyway, some other, like I mentioned in the intro, some people recommended that I watch some interviews and things like that. So those of you who are subscribers and everything, I'm going to be talking about Billie Eilish quite a bit. I've actually been listening to her album lately. And there's so many great, great topics on her album um, that we could talk about and learn things from. So I will be doing deep dives into her lyrics and talking about things. Because as you know, like if you watch my Linkin Park video or my first Billie Eilish video, like music is designed for us to connect to it, but what are some of the solutions, right? So I really like the format of breaking down lyrics, talk about how I can relate or how others can relate, and then talk about potential solutions. But in this video, I wanna talk about Billie Eilish opening up on Aaron, uh, Ellen about her Tourette's syndrome and what that meant to her. And, uh, and brave that you didn't intend to speak about, but uh, that you have Tourette's syndrome. But I think that's that's amazing that you spoke about it. It's something I've lived with my whole life and everybody knows, like everybody in my family, all my friends, all the people that are closest to me know I have it and it's not anything different. And I just never said anything because I didn't want to, I didn't want that to define who I was. I didn't right. want it to be like, Billie Eilish, the artist with Tourette's, Billie Eilish is on Ellen. Yeah. So that right there was just a short clip of Billie Eilish on Ellen talking about it. I'll link it down in the description below. So yeah, Tourette's, um, for those of you who don't know what Tourette's is or you've never met with somebody with Tourette's, it can manifest in different ways for different people. Some people it's just tics. It sounds like, it sounds like Billy's are mainly like physical tics, but for other people it's it's having like uh, outbursts and saying things, right? And, and it's rough, it's really tough. Like I have met a lot of people with Tourette's and I can only begin to imagine what they go through. For example, working at the Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center, I've worked with quite a few clients who had Tourette's and I would just be doing a group and then there would be an outburst. And if I wasn't informed beforehand that a client in my group had Tourette's, it would catch me off guard, right? But immediately like the empathy would kick in. I'm like, man, that's that's gotta be rough. That's gotta be rough. And through talking with some of the clients who had Tourette's, a lot of them were self-medicating because of all the, the mental health issues that come along with having Tourette's, right? Like just for a lot of us, like we're just trying to fit in, we're just trying to be part of the crowd, part of a group or anything like that. And having something like Tourette's can make you stand out. So I met a lot of people who were self-medicating with drugs and alcohol because of their Tourette's. So like Billie Eilish talked about in this interview with Ellen, about her Tourette's syndrome, I could really relate to what she was saying, like how she kept it a secret for a long time and then finally she just like was open and honest about it. But, so one of the things that she mentions is that she didn't want it to define her, right? So for example, I know my YouTube channel is based around mental health and addiction recovery and all of that, but when I go meet new people, I'm not running around like, hey, Chris, hi, my name's Chris. I'm, an, I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict, right? Because I don't want that to be my identity, right? It, it is a big part of who I am. It, it is a big motivation for the things that I do and the things I try to share and give to other people and all that. But like when I'm out in public, just meeting new people who don't know anything about my job or anything like that, like that's not something that I'm just like introducing myself as because 
I'm many different things. I'm not just a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. I'm also a father, I'm also a boyfriend, I'm also a son, I'm also a friend, all these other things. So I can relate to what Billy's talking about when she says that she didn't wanna be defined by that thing, right? And we're gonna come back to that. We're gonna circle back to that in just a minute when we talk about these compilation videos. But Billie Eilish is seeing what I found some power and strength in, which I hope some of you find as well, which is when we are open and honest and we get vulnerable with other people about things we deal with or dealt with in the past, it, it encourages others. It helps them not feel so alone. So in Billie's interview with Ellen, she mentions how, you know, um, she had a lot of fans reach out to her or leave comments on social media or on her YouTube videos talking about their struggle with Tourette's as well and it helps them feel less alone. Like this is very beneficial. That's one of the reasons why like I've mentioned before, like in my first two years of sobriety, I was a closet recovering addict and alcoholic. I didn't wanna tell anybody, right? And then I realized like, wait, I can empower other people by letting them know that I'm in recovery. Like one of my favorite things is when somebody sees me and sees how far I've come and they're like, oh my God, I never would have guessed that you struggled with drug or alcohol addiction, right? And that that's a big deal because what happens is, is it ends up giving other people some hope, right? So I would figure, I would figure somebody with Tourette's, they can see somebody like Billie Eilish and say, oh my God, well, I have Tourette's too. Billie Eilish is a young woman who's very successful um, and is pursuing her dreams. Maybe I can do that too. And that's what I wanna get out there and give to the rest of the world, is to show people that you can overcome certain things, even if it's a condition like Tourette's syndrome that you have to live with. Like I'm somebody who's been diagnosed with you know, uh, a generalized anxiety disorder, a, a depression, and I obviously had struggles with addiction, I had a traumatic childhood, all those things. But I want people to kind of look at me and say, oh my God, well, if Chris can get through it, he ain't nothing special, I can get through it too. So it is very, very admirable for Billie Eilish to just be open and honest about it. And she kind of talks and jokes about how like, you know, uh, she, uh, she had a tick like in an interview and they just thought she was being like kooky little quirky Billie Eilish, like they didn't know that she had Tourette's. So now, now let's go back to what we were talking about. Like her fear was that people were going to define her by that. And just now, like I was actually going to make a video about um, either Billie Eilish's song, uh, Bad Guy, or one of her other songs that somebody recommended. And I was gonna make one on that, but like as soon as I started typing into YouTube to pull up the video I was gonna use, I typed in Billie Eilish. One of the first suggestions was Billie Eilish Tourette's. And then I clicked on it because I already saw the interview with Ellen, and then I saw all of these videos, all of these videos about ticks compilations, and I'm like, Oh my God, that is absolutely brutal, right? Like a lot of people just in society, they believe that since uh, celebrities have like, you know, a spotlight on them and they put themselves in this position that they should be, you know, just like, they should be able to just have the thickest skin and everything. But I just like, I want you guys to imagine for one second that you had this thing that you're very self-conscious about like Tourette's syndrome and people are making compilations of it. Like compilations and I clicked on one of them just to see and like half the clips they showed were just like, it almost seems like somebody with just attention, you know, just their attention bouncing all over the place. And Billie Eilish is a young woman. I think she's what, 16 or 17 right now? Like sometimes like she's in an interview and her eyes just kind of look the other way and that's the clip, that's the, Tourette's clip. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? So people are making videos showing Tourette's compilations to get views and like half the examples that I saw, maybe even more, weren't even an example of Tourette's. And this is a major issue. This is a major issue in all, all aspects of this thing, right? Like one of the reasons I love Brene Brown is because she tries to encourage people to be vulnerable, right? Because being vulnerable is a big fear that a lot of people have. So when somebody like Billie Eilish has the courage to get vulnerable and open up about something and then seeing people, I don't know, seeing people 
you know, make like compilations of the thing that she's very self-conscious about, I'm like, eh, right? And through my own journey of YouTube and looking back at videos I've created and everything like that, like I, I have to look back at, you know, what was I doing? Like I, I know, you know, what I was trying to do, but was it fair to the people I was using as an example? And the answer is, I believe, not all the time, right? I think sometimes, sometimes, right? Like what I'm trying to do with my channel now is show more positive influences and pulling the positive out of things because I truly believe that there's a message that we can take from everything, right? Like when we're just consuming content, there's always a message, right? It's either what to do or what not to do. But I think too many of us watch content very passively. So one of my goals and missions with this channel now is to try to pull out a positive message from everything. And even if it's something where I gotta talk about the negative a little bit, I wanna provide more of a solution, right? But anyways, I hope, I hope all of you were encouraged by Billie Eilish to embrace you embrace yourself, love yourself, love all parts of yourself. Don't just, oh, I kind of like this part of myself and this. And I know it's easier said than done, but this is what we should all be working towards. I'm not saying that you should never try to improve or anything like that, but there's certain aspects of yourself that you should fully embrace and love and, and accept about yourself, all right? So anyways, anyways, like I said, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell. I will be breaking down a lot, a lot of Billie Eilish's um, tracks from her new album, so make sure you stay tuned to that. There's a lot of important lessons to be learned, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I also wanna send out a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing, and if you would like to help support the channel, get access to some exclusive content and things like that, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.